Well, I, I think, you know, obviously every win is a, is a good win. And tonight, the, you know, the way we played with the pass um, against the team, you know, I mentioned before the game, that, that really forces you to do that because of the way that they defend. Um, and I thought um, that efficiency helped our transition defense. And maybe the, the biggest thing that we did defensively um, as the game went on, we got a lot better on the offensive boards, on our defensive boards. What did you think of uh, Rudy Ocho's debut? Um, well, I think we're calling him Ocho. I got to write an eight on the, on the, uh, the board, so we're getting used to that. Um, he played within himself, you know. He just made the game easy because of the decisions that he made, you know. And, I think that, you know, he made shots, but that's a byproduct of, you know, making the right play. And that's what we've emphasized with our whole group. You know, it's the, the making shots always stands out, but there's other things that he did that, you know, helped our team. And uh, that's what stood out to me. What are some of those other things that you um, Well, defensively, his length is, I think, uh, impacts shots, even if he doesn't block a shot. Um, his willingness to move the ball, um, you know, and that the ball will, the ball comes back to you. Um, you know, something as simple as spacing. You know, I think with his height again, you know, he's able to pass the ball. And most of the shots he got were, you know, he had the one driving layup, um, but most of the shots he got were after the ball, you know, moved some. And, and he was open, um, so he was, you know, he was efficient to be out for that long. Um, you know, it just tells you, you know, he's a basketball player and his feel for the games. You know, that that such a hard thing to capture when you you know you talk about feel, but if you watch the game, you know, you you can tell what it what it is. Joe was maybe the most involved that he's been, um, especially kind of playmaking in that third quarter. What, why did you guys get him the ball so much? Was that kind of a flow thing? And then what did you see just? From yeah, the I think the, the the kind of the misnomer with our team is is you know getting the ball to a guy. You know, it's more um, you know how many assists did he have? A lot. So you know that he, he's getting off the ball when he's doing that. So. Um, you know, we've talked about that. You know, one of the biggest things is I don't know how many defensive rebounds he had, but he was he was on the glass. Um, you know, and that's that gives him opportunities in transition. Um, and I thought, you know, in, in a similar fashion to to Ocho, um, you know, Joe just tried to make the right play. And you know, against a team like Toronto that's so aggressive and pressures you so much, um, you know, the guy that is bringing it up. Um, usually can can create an advantage right away in the possession and you know it happens all the time when you get off it and there's numbers um, and you create that advantage you know there was a few times that you know we, we made the right decision to drive the ball and traveled but a lot of those plays where guys are driving it and kicking it it comes back to you know the guy that started the possession you know and frankly Mike Conley dominated the game I mean that and you know it says a lot about who he is as a player you know when he takes what four shots and dominates the game you know I think obviously Joe and, and Rudy Gay you know had really good nights we had good, you know a lot of people contributed but you know Mike in my mind you know the way that he played and to, to be that unselfish to facilitate everything. I don't pay a lot of attention to plus minus because sometimes it's deceiving, but 33 jumps out, plus 33, it's hard to do. Specifically, what does Mike do to facilitate this offense that kind of gets everyone good? I mean, Roy's had a lot of good looks tonight. Yeah. What does Mike do specifically? Well, I think, you know, he, he's unselfish and, he, and he's quick to make the, the right play, you know, and sometimes that you define that a lot of different ways, but. Um, you know his ability to get in the paint, I think, is um, is unique with his quickness. Um, you know, he took shots when he was open. You know, and then a lot of times he made a play to get somebody a better shot. Um, you know, so uh, 
and that I, I thought he defended too. You know, he worked. Van Fleet's hard to guard. There's a lot of movement, you know, and he really worked on that. I think he blocked a shot too. So, no, but we, you know, we got the, the main thing is we were precise enough to, to get spaced and we had a, you know, we had a spell there where, you know, I think we, we weren't spaced as well and, you know, we turned the ball over trying to, um, turn the ball over trying to make plays it's like in in the right spirit um but tonight as I, as i mentioned before you know the getting off the ball sometimes is more important than anything and being spaced so that someone can get off the ball but you know we've been talking a lot about offense right now and you know just bring us back to the defensive end because getting stops is is what allows us to do that um, consistently you mentioned the defense that Toronto scored three baskets over the final nine minutes of the third quarter. What really was the turning point that, that led to that defense? I, I think it just concentration and focus on that end, you know, and understanding that that sustained, consistent effort um, is what allows you to, you know, to not just build a lead but extend a lead. And there's been times this year where we've been in a position to 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 extend the lead and um, and take control of the game, and we we haven't been as focused on the defensive end, and that that's really where a, a team can let up in those situations when you look up and you're up 13 and all of a sudden, you know, you're up six um, because you don't have the right frame of mind and thinking about something else other than defending.